should never phase me They watch the steps that I be taking That's why they say that I'm amazing uh, Been the top dog before the nine Since I've always been the public figure Now the frame then got too big Cause most people wanna get up in it Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm your host, John Madsen. This is the show. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about building muscle. We're gonna talk about losing fat. We're gonna talk about what's more difficult. Before I even get into the how, you must understand why it's important, not for me. I know why it's important for me. You have to know why it's important for you. There's zero chance I could do a podcast with 250 something episodes only talking about fitness because everything that I say doesn't really matter unless you have the burning desire for it. So I feel like I could waste my breath getting into the minutia of a lot of this stuff. That's what the superhuman protocol is for. That's why we've had thousands of the most mind-blowing transformations that you've ever seen. When people come into our program, it is a guaranteed process. The reason is because all of those details are very important after a person has already decided in their hearts that it's important for them. Because if it's not important, no matter what I say on this podcast, no matter what you read about on the internet, you're not going to do it until it becomes a desire desire and an obsession. And so a lot of people dabble in this fitness game. A lot of people want to like read a bunch of articles and read a bunch of blog posts and listen to a bunch of podcasts. And you know, they want to go to the gym and they're constantly tweaking and trying different things, jumping around from this program to that program. And yet year after year, it's, it's like, although there's interest, there's not really commitment to the result. And that's a very big difference. A lot of people dabble around and mess around and get like very mediocre result and very few people are committed absolutely unequivocally in their heart committed to the process that is going to yield the actual result and so that's really what I want to talk about in today's episode so if we're gonna talk if, if you're watching me right now and you're thinking or whether you're listening to me right now and you're considering wanting to build an elite physique there's two things that we have to consider how much fat you have on your body and then how much muscle you've built built up over time. And like I just said, if there's not a burning desire to represent yourself in the most elite way, which is going to be, by the way, an elimination of most of the fat on your body so that you're walking around in a 10 to 14 ish percent body fat percentage with substantial muscle. If that's a desire for you, then what I'm about to tell you is going to be very important. If it's not a desire and you're okay, just representing a mediocre, soft, flaccid, average version of yourself, like 90% of the Americans out there, then what I'm about to say is not going to resonate at all. And if you're a new listener, you probably are not going to like what I have to say. But if you've listened for a long time, you, you understand that the whole premise of everything that I do, all the content that I put out, everything that superhuman represents is this excellence that lives inside of you and it lives inside of me. And so how do we bring that out? Well, if a person is thinking about fitness, they're usually just thinking of it with a short-term vision of wanting to lose 10 to 15 to 20 pounds. Maybe they've let themselves go a little bit. They look into the mirror and they're like, damn, I got about 30 pounds to lose. And so they come in with that limited, limited view. And so this process for us is in the beginning is stripping all of that excess fat off. And so the reason we want to do that is because we actually want to like, think of a statue. It's like, we're just chiseling the excess fat off. A, it's not healthy. B, it doesn't look good. And C, if you do want to represent excellence, this is the first step. And so we're stripping all of it off. And then we get down to this like bare bones, the amount of muscle that you've built up over time. And usually you 95% of you, men especially, and women have substantially, significantly less muscle than they think. And so the hard part here is that a lot of times we have someone come into the program and let's say that they're 225 pounds. This is a real, this is a real example, by the way. Say someone's 225 pounds, 5'10". They come to us and they're like, John, I want to get down to 200 pounds. And if I get down to 200 pounds, I'm going to be ripped. And we've done this long enough. Like we have a before picture. We take the, the, the person sends a before picture. And I know instantly that that body type, it's not going to have to get down to 200 pounds. 
it's gonna have to get all the way down to 160 pounds. So the person comes in thinking that they want to represent excellence, they wanna be elite, and that they need to lose 25 pounds in order to do so. But what happens is we start stripping that weight off, they get to 200 pounds, and they're like, holy shit, I got way more fat on this body than I think. John, I think we need to go to 185. And I'm like, no, 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 no. 185 isn't gonna be enough either. So we get to 185 and they see themselves and they're like, oh my God, I still got more fat on this body. How much further can I go? I'm the lightest I've ever been in 20 plus years. And so we keep stripping that fat off. And then we get to a point where we can see that person's abs. And yes, if you're watching this or you're listening, you have abdominal muscles, everybody does. And so it's our job to see how many layers we're gonna have to get through to actually see what's there. And just like any other muscle group, some abs, some people's abs are bigger than other people's abs because they've been trained more and more effectively. And so the hard part here is that most average trainees who are not who have not been in this industry who are not you know bodybuilders or powerlifters or professional athletes they they have this idea that they if they lose 25 pounds they're going to feel amazing and they're going to look great and they're going to look like king leonidas on the spartans and you know that's all they need to do and unfortunately that's not true and so fat loss for everybody out there the whole purpose of this show like that's actually the easy part because in order to lose fat we have to train effectively and then manage our caloric deficit over time and do it in a way where we're just not cutting down to you know a thousand calories because at that point you're also going to substantially a feel like crap and b you'll lose some of the muscle that you do have and c your hormonal profile will go to you know a place that you don't want it to go to so there's a whole bunch of negative effects with dieting for too long and so we got to take a person through the process effectively and that might take 12 weeks that might take 16 weeks some of you that have a ton of fat on your body we might be in more of a fat loss phase for the better part of uh of a year obviously taking diet breaks making sure the metabolic function is okay and then we get to this point where now this person is lighter than they've been probably since high school and they're looking at themselves and you can see shapes you can see the muscles kind of pop a little bit even if there's not a lot but ultimately most of the people get to this point and they're like damn john i want to look like a Spartan though. Like I, I want to, like, I want to be a savage. Like I want, I want to like, I want to build, I want to build this frame. And it's right here that the game actually gets more difficult. It's right here that like most people aren't going to go completely superhuman. Our people do because we're like the whole culture is built around excellence, but most people will lose the 25 pounds, realize that they don't actually look and feel that much better. And then the, over time they like gain it back. And so it's just this like averageness that that's played out over and over and over again but in this case there's a switch that has to happen and then it's like i need to build muscle and that's when the game start but in order to go into this game a person really 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 has to understand like the mentality and the and their heart's desire of like why it's important and no matter what it is whether you want to build a incredible business or you want to build this incredible body if there's not enough passion behind it there's not enough fuel and so what's going to happen is a person will do it for a little bit of time and then they're going to not do it because there's not enough passion to fuel the discipline that's needed there's not enough passion to fuel the mental toughness that is actually needed to complete the process so for me like i've told this story so many times people said john like why do you love the fitness industry and, and the answer is because when i was 16 years old and i was gonna play high school football which i never did because of this exact day is i went into a weight room for the first time and we were asked to max out on bench press and as i got down on the bench and my friends all did you know whatever they did 95 pounds came crushing down on my chest and in a moment's time I realized that my confidence was shaken to its core. I felt weak. I felt powerless. As a 16 year old kid, I felt like my manhood was just like gone. And in that moment, that insecure moment where, where people are faced with a decision, are you going to run away from that insecure moment that just happened and say, you know what? The weight room's not for me. I'm just meant to be this scrawny, skinny kid. And you go over here and you never really face it. And then as, as an adult, you keep kind of wanting to get in shape. But every time you walk into the weight room, you're insecure because you're powerless. You think everybody's looking at you. You, you don't want to wear a tank top or you don't want to wear a short sleeve shirt. So you wear hoodies and you're just like, 
like you feel lack, like the opposite of confident. And the best word I can describe it is powerless because that's how I felt. Or do you take that moment and you run straight into your insecurity and you turn it into a security? See, I was so insecure about my body. I turned it into a security. And so from the time I was 16 years old, I'm going to turn 40 later this year. That amount of time, literally 20 plus years, I've been building this body that I want to have that represents power and has a presence to it. And the thing that I realized when you represent excellence, when you represent winning in all that you do, and there's nothing that represents winning more than having a championship body. There's nothing. And so when you walk into a room and you represent excellence, I'm talking like I'm six foot five. I walk into a room. I'm 240 pounds. I have 10% body fat. I walk into a room and there's a powerful frame and that powerful magnetic frame holds the frame for everybody else in the room. If I want to transfer my energetic state, this is like state control. I can transfer it easily and effortlessly because I have the strongest frame. The person with the strongest frame frame will hold the frame. And so I walk into the room and this, this powerful state is one of the most, it's the most effective tool I've ever seen to hold the frame. There is more negotiating power. There is endless opportunity. People want to do business with you. People want to go along for the ride and they don't even know why consciously. It's, it's this unconscious magnetism that happens. And so when I'm talking about fitness, there's like a deep, 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 deep reason why I started it, but there's also a deep, 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 deep reason why I continue to do it because I've seen how easily I can have influence and a lot of it is based on this subconscious frame that I can control and have a lot of people almost unknowingly feel it. That is powerful, friends. That's a powerful, powerful thing to harness. But And the reason I'm talking about this first is because if you're going to ever achieve it, this isn't a process that's going to be like, oh, I'm going to do this 16-week program and then all of a sudden I'm going to be in ridiculous elite shape. So depending on where a person's from, usually phase one is stripping the fat off a person. That might only take 16 weeks. We've had a guy that's come into the program that had multiple eight-figure business that had has 80 something employees come into the program and lose 45 pounds in 16 weeks. We strip all of that fat off him in 16 weeks. And we got down to this, to this frame and he's like, okay, now what? And we say, now the game has started. Now you're at the starting line. And so that's what I want you to understand watching and listening to this video. The game has not even started yet until you tow the line and you have already stripped all that excess fat off of you. Because then the, the next part of the game, and here, here's the, here's the thing now, the next part of the game is forever. I was at a dinner with uh, a couple of my uh, best clients and we were eating um, really good food. And uh, I was, I found myself telling them that the thing I wished for most is that the people who come into superhuman, that they give their energy, they give their time, they give their effort to themselves, by the way, for at least five years. And I'm like, that's the one thing, that's the one thing, like if I could just implant that in somebody, I'm like, it would change their world because I'm not saying they have to be in my world for, for five years. In fact, we wouldn't necessarily do our job effectively if a person needed us for five years. Now, whether they want us for five years, that's another story, but our, our job is to teach them the principles that they need to have so that they can continue it for the rest of their lives. But I said that five years time is essentially the time frame where a person is going to have that identity. It's going to be much more likely to lock in. And maybe this is you. Maybe you've been very excited about fitness for a year. And maybe you've made great progress for a year, but I've seen a lot of people be like gung ho for a year and then life gets in the way for whatever reason, you know, a couple weeks get wacky and then the weeks turn into a couple months. And then before you know it, their default sets in and all of this work they did over a year gets erased in a six month period. And so sometimes people think that a year is going to be like enough to lock a habit in. And they, you know, a lot of people point to this research that says you only have to do something for 60 something days and then it becomes a habit. That's bullshit. I've seen it so many times where people will be effectively putting a ton of effort into something. And then ultimately within uh, six months, it's, it's already gone. But this five 
year period, notice if you if if you do what I say and, and you follow step one and you strip all the fat off and then you get to the game, right? You get to this game, you get to the starting line that I'm talking about. And then you start to do the real work, right? And what's the real work? Well, you get strong. You go to the gym and you re resistance train in a way uh, that's done with massive progressive overload. So uh, in any gym in the world, you walk in and you actually are strong, right? That's gonna be the way for 95% of you to do what I'm telling you to do in this episode, which is how do I build muscle, John, right? We could talk about the little tiny details of programming and periodization and the scientific principles, but literally 99% of you, I'm, I'm telling like 99% of the world, like that doesn't matter unless you're gonna try to go win medals in powerlifting or you want to get on stage and, and win bodybuilding contests. 99% of you are like me, right? You're, you're effectively business athletes that aren't gonna go on stage and don't need to win medals in powerlifting, but you want to have this presence that I talked about. You want to have this vitality and magnetism and energy. And so you want to effectively build this body into an elite machine. All of that stuff doesn't really matter. If we just strip it down, it's like, look, you go, you go to the gym four to five times a week, maybe three, three to five times a week. And you do so with an efficient program that's going to progressively challenge your body so that over time you actually get stronger. And the cool thing about this is it's actually measurable because if you're going to the gym and you're just repping some dumbbells out here and there, and then the very next year, you're still doing essentially the same weight that you did a year before, that's going to be something that is not going to yield the results that you ultimately want. So what you need to do is you need to train with purpose. And then you continue to, because you've already been taught essentially how to eat with purpose, right? We want to make these muscle cells grow and we want to effectively keep making sure that we're not walking around with excess body fat. And then the last step of all of this, you never stop. Like I started when I was 16, I'm gonna be 40 years old. I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping ever, right? And so I say five years because at the five year mark, if you put all this energy into five years, you would have stripped off all the fat. You would have made substantial progress over the next four years. You would be stronger than 95% of people in the, in the United States. And you would walk around with a physique that is better than 98% of people in the United States. And at that point, it locks into your identity. You start to realize that the opportunities that I was talking about is real. You start to realize that the presence you have within yourself and the presence you hold amongst others is something that gives you more opportunity and gives you more negotiating power and things become easier. It's like, why would you let that go? You wouldn't. And so what I want you to understand here is like, yeah, a lot of times in fitness, we're talking about fat loss because 99% of Americans need need fat loss first. And so we're effectively just talking about how to strip fat. But I want you to understand today and forever that once you get down and you've stripped all that fat off, that's where the game actually starts. And the only way that you're going to win this game is you don't stop ever. If you like this episode, please share it. Thank you for your time and energy. If you want my team's help in doing any of this, reach out on Instagram. We can absolutely help you so that you know how to do this for the rest of your life. And more than anything, thank you for your continued support. We'll see you next time.